<laughs> oh my god. Um, well, keep us a, a, a Don, a prima donna. Prima donna. He, he never, he never <laughs> falls. He never said I got hurt. Right. This guy is for real. You have to think that he really thinks he's God. <laughs> uh, so so, so um, his thing is um, he would walk around the dressing room. He had his. Um, And, and, and he said, you're not in the ring, man. <laughs> she can be no yours. She can be no yours. She saw you. She saw you. <laughs> so uh, and, and there was stuff like that. Uh, he, uh, I was told by, uh, by uh, Mike LaBelle, he came into town, and we were all, like, go to the towns where we had to go, like Bakersfield, San Diego, and other towns like that, and when me came in, he, his thing, he just wanted to do the Olympic and not the other small areas. So uh, Mike called me, he says, will you drive this guy around? <laughs> I didn't want to, but you know, the office is calling, I gotta do what they tell me. So um, sure, I, I picked him up and everything, but he wanted uh, uh, only him and I without having no other one. So I, that means that I paid the whole gas. Uh, you know? and, and he would never pitch in. <laughs> and he was making all the money. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, I, 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 that's one thing that I didn't like about him. <laughs> you know, he has this reputation, me and Moscow's have a reputation. You know, he's an icon. 100% for sure, but his reputation for being just like Michael Mama said, it's very prima donna, you know, it's about me. And, and in wrestling sometimes you can't be like that. You kind of have to be about the match and make that match. Whether you win or lose, it's for the fans. So a lot of times he was, you know, about me, about me. So it's, it's come and been in, in the ass a lot of times, but one time George Lopez, when he had his, uh, his uh, TV shows, his talk show at night, he met Mil Mascaras somewhere and he was like, oh my God, it's Mil Mascaras. You know, hey, I really want you on my on my show. Would you come to my show? And he says, Oh, absolutely, absolutely, for twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when uh, uh, George was like uh, FTP. <laughs> you guys know what that means. I tried to get Mil Muskris uh, for this documentary, and it was a similar. I, I I spoke to him. I picked up the phone. I got the number from Gene. I picked him. I was like, Is this? Woman? Yes. Uh, you know, I, I'm doing a documentary with the Olympic Auditorium. It would be an honor to have you in the documentary. And he was just like, uh, how much money? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a documentary with a small budget. Yeah. No, don't ever call me again. Don't ever use any of my images. Don't ever do it. And I was like, OK, OK, cool. Talk to you later. That explains why it was so minimal. Of him. <laughs> <laughs> I get him. I mean, he's an icon. It, 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 an icon for sure, 100%. Yeah. And, and, I, and a great wrestler. And, and uh, you know, speaking with Dick Byer, the, the destroyer, you know, he said, and those were, you know, Dick was a great wrestler, um, as is Mill. And they, they, he said he never gave him anything. They had great matches, and he had nothing but respect for him as a wrestler. Oh, thank you. He's a very good wrestler.